<coughs> Assalamu alaikum. Great. See, this is the summary video for today. Lesson. Let's start. Uh, subject math. Lesson much multiplication. Learn notebook page number 105. And uh, skill builder, the remaining uh, question from skill builder book page number 63. So let's start. A number multiplied by six is 24. What is the number? A number multiplied by six is 24. If you know the table of six, it's very easy to you. So let's start. If you know the table of six, six multiplied by one equal. Six, six multiplied by two equal. 12, like this, six threes are six fours are. <clears throat> so let us do it. Six multiply by what equal twenty four? The simple game. If you know the question after this, the first thing you know the table of six. Six ones are six, six twos are 12, threes are 18, fours are. So we write here six fours are 24. Same like this, a number multiplied by nine is 63. What is the number? We want to know the number like this. And this is the number was four. So in this question, a multiply by nine. So table of nine, we should know nine multiply by what equals 63. So nine nines are 81, nines eight are. If you know the table, it's easy for you. So nine ones are nine, twos are 18. Like this, if uh, nine sevens are, nine sevens are 63. This is just multiplication. <clears throat> I also share the tables uh, page in the group, in the WhatsApp group, kindly memorize the table. If you don't know the table, you should have in front of you a table chart. So you can easily find the answer. A number multiplied by nine, a number, there is a number multiplied by nine, it's coming 63. The what is the number? Seven. Question number seven. What is nine times as big as four? What is nine times as big as four? So multiply it. Nine with four, as, as big as four. So if you are multiplying nine with four, we get our answer. So let's do it. 9 multiplied by 4 equal or 4 multiplied by 9 equal what? 36. 9 fours are 36. So we can write here 36. How many days are there in 5 week? First of all, we need to know <clears throat> in 1 week. In 1 week, there are 7 days. In 1 week, there are 7 days. Okay, so in five weeks of so simple seven multiply by five what is multiply it means seven times it means seven times seven multiply by five it means seven five times any seven days in a five time one week have seven day two week three week four week it means seven how many times five times so seven multiply by five equal 30 Five, five, five multiply seven or seven multiply five. So how many days in five weeks? 35 days. So we write here 35 days. Next question. How many 10 cent coin in $4? In $4. Very easy. It's very easy question because we are multiplying with 10. We are multiplying with 10, okay, let's do it. How many 10 cent in $4? First of all, we know about dollar. In $4, how much coins, how many? How much cent, first of all, we need to know. In $4, we have 400. Four multiply by 100, 400. How many 10, can, uh, 10 cent coin in $4? So we need to divide it. We need to divide it, so four, Hundred divided by ten. Just a minute. Mm. 
divided by 10. It's coming 40. So we need to again multiply or you can simply do again multiply by 10. We no need to cut zero. If you multiply 10 with 10, the, uh, the answer is again 400 coming. Why? Actually, we want to know about 10 cent. 10 cent. We know in $1, we have 100 cent. So we want to uh, know about 10 cent. So four multi 40 multiply by 10. First of all, we need to change dollar into cent. Dollar into cent. So 40 multiply by 10 equal 400 or you can do also like this our answer will be same <clears throat> question number 11 seven children wear uh, boots boots one no boots mean two because we have two foot okay so two boots each children how many boots all together easy seven multiply by two there are seven children and two boots for each one so seven twos are seven multiply by two two multiply by seven so 14 so how many boots are there all together 14 so we write here 14 boots, 14 boots, or you write 14 only, it's okay. Let's move to the next question. There are six egg in a box. One, two, three, four, five, six. How many eggs in 14 box? How many eggs in 14 box? <clears throat> so it's 14 multiply by six, 14 multiply by six. So multiply it by six 14 multiply by six you can also do the same thing like this this is first you do like this in simple way and then after this in the question it is say about open arrow uh, open area open area method the same uh, in the previous one so first do like this six fours are 24 to a carry six twos are uh, six ones are six seven eight so our answer here 84. Now we are doing open area method. So there are how many boxes? Uh, 14. And how many eggs in one box? 6. So uh, 14. 14, it's mean 10. Multiply, we just make a box in simple way. Okay, like this. This is for multiplication. We are multiplying with 6. Should write here 6. We write here six and now we uh, make a partition for 14. So 10 and uh, four like this. So 10, six are 60 and uh, 10 multiply by four, uh, six, um, sorry, six or four multiply by six equal 24. So in open, error, in open array method like this, you make the calculation. So after this, plus it, 60 plus 24, 20 plus 60, uh, 80, 84. So our answer, 84. So now you can see and match your answer. Is it the same? If we are doing multiply like this method or like this method, you can see the answer, same in both cases. So in this, you can do by open array method. Okay, use uh, you need three eggs to make a cake. <clears throat> How many eggs to make seven cakes? Three eggs we need, make one cake. So we want to make how many cakes? Seven cakes. So three multiply by seven equal, it's easy equal 21. So we write here 21. So we need how many eggs? 21 eggs. Done boys. Next question. No, enough until here. And the remaining question, inshallah, in the next class, complete page number 63 and complete your class. Or there are different, um, many question I skip because they're same like the other one. So try to complete your class work also. Goodbye, take care, assalamu alaikum.